Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit. Welcome to my week one recap of Overwatch. I've been having a lot of fun playing Overwatch this week. It has been a super duper fun time. I'm super lucky to have been able to play Overwatch this past week. It's just great finally having, you know, that FPS game that I can play. I've never had that thing sitting at my computer, which I've had for the past months and months now, like sitting there saying, okay, what game am I going to play tonight? I've, I've not had to ask myself that question for the past week because I know what I want to play. I want to play Overwatch and I, I just hop on and play Overwatch whenever I have the chance to play Overwatch and it's just been absolutely awesome. And I know <laughs> you guys listening to this, I'm sorry for rubbing it in. It sounds like I'm rubbing it in right now. I'm not rubbing it in. All I want is for more people to have beta access so that more people can be playing the game, learning how to play, and then checking out my videos to learn some more stuff so that they can go try this stuff out for themselves as well, because the more people that have access to the game I think is going to benefit me, not just riding on the hype of no one having access so people are looking for gameplay to watch. Usually people are more focused on looking for high level gameplay to watch once they can actually play themselves and they want to learn some stuff, so I'm looking forward to get, having more people gain access to the beta as well. So fingers crossed that happens soon, but this weekend is BlizzCon, so BlizzCon is going to be super hype. I'm really looking forward to all the sort of information they reveal at BlizzCon. I'm expecting some new character announcements and I'm expecting some news about the beta, closed beta test weekends, which should have some information about when they're going to be. But yeah, this past week has been awesome. So. I have pretty much been trying to put my beta key to good use and been bringing you guys as much content as I possibly can. I find this game incredibly easy to talk about just because I'm having so much fun playing it and there's so much to talk about right now regarding the game and the characters in it so like making videos for me about this game is awesome because I can just get gameplay and sit down and then just talk about this game for ages. So I've put up Tons of cool videos for you guys this week. Probably my best ones, I would say, are my ones from my new series, which is my stage one videos. I've got Zarya and McCree up so far. So what those are, are they are high skill gameplay for at least the first week of beta, at least what I think are pretty decent gameplays from what I've got so far in the beta. And they're like just introductory videos for those characters and my first impressions of those characters and what I think about them. So you should definitely check out those ones. And then on the other hand, we've been doing lots of scrims the past week as well in Overwatch. So probably the best scrim video, I've put up quite a few now of those. Uh, the best one is probably to go check out the Sith versus Melty Esports one, if you've not seen that one. That was probably the most fun one to watch. We've also got Sith versus some Quake Pros one on my channel. And that's got both the attacking and the defending side in that video, which is another really fun one to watch. So we get an awesome offense push and win the game in like under two minutes. So if you want to see a really quick win, go check out that one as well. I got the content coming basically for Overwatch and I want to keep bringing the content. This week I've had a video up every single day and I've never really been able to do that before on my channel. I have my beta key and I'm sitting there and I know people, other people don't have the beta key and like the reason I got the beta key is because Blizzard saw my YouTube videos. So I want to try and make it worth it and bring you these decent gameplay videos with my beta key. So <laughs> I'm trying to bring one every day, but that's probably going to change very quickly because it's a, it's a hard thing to do. Like that's a hard thing to do. And I had internet troubles all last weekend as well, which was very frustrating. I moved flat recently and I've set up with a new internet provider. And what they do is they, they limit my internet if I upload too much data which is ridiculous. I've never heard of anyone doing that in the UK before, but apparently these guys do, which I didn't know about at the start of my contract, which I, sp I, I actually specifically asked a guy at the start of my contract about it, and he said that it didn't exist, but it does. So what I'm having to do right now is make videos and upload them before 4 p.m. Otherwise it hits peak time and then my upload speed gets limited, which is really annoying. But I actually haven't managed to do that yet. So every single day I've been hitting the threshold limit with my upload and then I get like my internet speed cut for a couple of hours so it's, yeah that's a lot of fun but in the long run I'm not gonna pr I'm not gonna promise like I'm not gonna sit here and promise you a video every two days or something like that because it's pretty much I want to bring you high quality gameplay and if I don't have high quality gameplay for you guys then I'm not gonna upload anything less than high quality gameplay and high quality commentary so each of my videos I'm putting in the effort for overwatch and making sure they're all top quality for you guys I will try and bring as much as possible just because I have beta access and other people don't. I want to bring you guys content, so that's that. The other thing I've been doing is streaming every single night. I've streamed Overwatch every single night apart from the nights at the weekend there where my internet was completely broken. So I have a stream schedule now. My stream schedule is up on Twitch.tv. It's pretty much every night at 9pm GMT. I'm going to be live 
and then Saturdays and Sundays it's a couple hours earlier but usually during the week as well I'm, I'm usually starting the stream about 7 or 8 p.m. as well it's just guaranteed times that I'm going to be live are there on my Twitch page which I'm going to try and maintain for as long as I possibly can I, w I want to I want to stream as much as possible I'm going to try and stream every single night the only times I guess that I'm not going to be streaming is when I have something on that night but like even when we have team practices like scrims and stuff that we're doing that will all be streamed if it's during my stream schedule time so check those out as well streaming is just for fun for me because I, I like that and sometimes the streams will be me playing solo queue and commentating my matches sometimes it'll just be me sitting there chilling with music sometimes it'll be six man parties and just going ham in some public scrims lots of different stuff on the stream and of course the chat room is always there just to chat with me and hang out and ask questions tell me what characters you want to see live and have a good time so that's my week one recap guys quite a lot has happened in the past week in overwatch next week as well i just want to keep churning out these videos for you guys bringing you great gameplay great commentary and i hope you guys keep watching let me know any feedback at all what you want to see i want to bring some like little tips videos as well some little mechanics game mechanics maybe some myth busters or something with the sith guys helping me out with that so that'll be a cool thing to do for overwatch but yeah that's week one gone already of overwatch beta really looking forward to week two and week three and week four and week five <laughs> and the next forever how many weeks I can play this game for. I really hope when the beta ends they don't actually like stop people playing the game for like a month because that is serious withdrawal symptoms if there's like a cooldown period between beta and release. I think they actually did that with Diablo 3 there was a cooldown period between beta and release no one could actually play the game between then so that'll be interesting if it happens in Overwatch as well. But thanks very much for watching my little week one recap video guys I hope you enjoyed it. The little gameplay highlights as well in the background there just nothing too super special just some random clips that I've not been able to use in any other video yet. So thanks for watching guys, see you in my next video and bye bye.